say thank you to Bob because these two people are amazing. Bob was sick and emaciated, and I prayed for him in his van one day after church. And then I didn't see him for a long time, and then when I did see him, he was well and walking and stepping and stuff and, and smiled on his face. Sorry. Sorry. Back. He was bringing somebody to church. So and the person he was bringing was May. And basically, they blessed each other because he brought her to church and she brought him back to God. And when I, I stopped and said, Hey, are you a member? No, would you like to be yes. I said, Well, let's get to, let's get to finding out what that involved. Started Bible studies, and a couple of weeks after we started the Bible studies, oh, three or four weeks later, we talked about baptism and we talked about hey, getting baptized. And Bob says, oh, I go too. I want to make that happen. And so we, we set the date, and there was somebody else straining at the bit. I mean, racing who had been worked with by my friend, Pastor Luis. And it was Dale. Yeah. And Pastor Luis had been working with Dale, and Dale was like, man, I want to do this. Now, this guy is almost a preacher. Amen. I didn't even tell you. Yeah, that's right. He comes from one of the greatest disciplines theologically that I know, and it's the Nazarene Church. And he is deep in the Word of God. The guy really knows the Scriptures. And that makes me doubly excited that he wants to be a part. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah of our church family. Amen? Amen. Amen. And this guy, when I told him May was getting married on the 16th, not married to Jesus. <laughs> on the 16th, he said, well, I want to come too. Now, this is weird because he spends his days at the beach teaching out people how to walk on water. It's called a flyboard. But he didn't know where this spot was. Isn't that amazing? And then there's this big guy right here. And the devil's been wringing him inside and out, messing with his mind. And the next thing I know, he wanted to be a part of this experience also. I'm praying for him. I want you to continue praying for him. He's looking for work. I mean, this guy can work. You know, and, and, and he decided he was going to not violate his Sabbath. As a matter of fact, tragedy stopped when they both said they wanted to get baptized. Next week, they said, Pastor, I can't come to studies anymore. And we said, nah, nah, that's not going to happen. And guess what? They're both back in the study. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, folks, I want you to keep praying for them because we get halfway through our studies, we do the baptism, and then we continue on the other halfway. Okay? So this will continue for several weeks. But they have known the basics regarding the baptismal vows of each and every one of them. And we are excited that they want to come down here and tell the whole world, not just the church, but the whole world, how much they love God, what He's done for them. Amen. And they want to say, by their testimony out there in the water, that they love Jesus. May's favorite passage. Did you heard her say, I just got my first Bible. He says, Pastor, you said something that resonated in my heart. And I said, what was that? She said, it talked about somebody who loved their neighbor like themselves. And you pegged it, uh, Pastor uh, uh, Beltre, when you said it was in Luke, the 10th yeah, chapter, and right on through this. Um, Jesus said one day an expert in religious law stood up and test, the, test Jesus by asking him this question. What should I do to inherit Jesus' eternal life? And Jesus said, what does the uh, law of Moses say? How do you read it? And the man answered, you must love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength. And you must 
love your neighbor as yourself. Well, this is a lady who understands that, has understood it all through the Bible. One of these days, I'll let her give her testimony in church. But May, does that sound like what you were talking about? Well, there it is, Matthew 10, or Luke 10, 29. Now, Bob says, they're all good. He said, I don't have a favorite. But he said, my favorite thought, that is expression. Now, tell us what it is. Uh, uh, that song goes back a long way, Bob. I never will forget when the Heritage Singers Quartet came and sang it at my church. First time I ever heard it. I about, I about lost it because it was such a beautiful song, but it even more beautiful thought. And the Bible says, Bob, that as he was in the garden being tempted not to go through with it, the Bible says he saw the travail of his soul. What that means is he saw you. And he said, because he saw you, he decided he would take the plunge. He would go through with it because of you. You were the travail of his soul. You were what he saw there in the garden of Gethsemane as he was sweating blood, not wanting to do it, saying, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. The Bible says he saw the travail of his soul. He saw every person who would accept the gift he was about to offer. And he said, you're worth it. Amen. You're worth it. I'll do it for you. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 <laughs> Anything. Okay, Ray. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you one of my favorites. It's one that we talked about in our class today, and it comes from the first testimony. Somewhere over there. 
<laughs> the NRA people. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Everybody can be here, but uh, but Bell Dragon. Dear Heavenly Father God, we come gathered here today for a glorious celebration of souls giving their hearts to you Amen. in public proclamation, saying, Lord Jesus, I want everyone to know that you are my Lord, my Savior, my King. Yes, Lord, you have promised in Ezekiel 36, verse 25 to 26, I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will give you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you. Amen. Move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. Amen. And so, Lord Jesus, we pray in this moment as these four precious souls are giving their lives to you, that you pour out your spirit upon them, fill them with your presence, Please. change their hearts, and lead them to a place of holiness and of righteousness, yeah. not because of who they are, but because of who you are. Thank you, Jesus. We ask a blessing to each and every one of you, especially. Special protection. Amen. 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 Well, thank you so much. Beautiful prayer. <laughs> All right, and we have all the videographers here. So Hollywood and the paparazzi are out today. Hey, bless your heart. Hey, G and B somewhere. Let's say where is Yali Mawa? He used to be with right here, body. right here, in the back, in the back. At any rate, he's over there. Um, Chad, yes. could I get you to get somebody to hold on to this for me? Okay. And uh, yeah. folks, we're going to make our way. There's a break in the wall right there where the pin is. Just jump behind your basket. Yeah. And, uh, and, okay. Can I make him hold it? Yeah. <laughs> Can I make you hold Cassie? Oh, it's just somebody. <laughs> yeah, huh? somebody, sorry. <laughs> folks, just follow me. <laughs> what, 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 what? Just hold on to his uh, Bible. He's looking Where's for you. <laughs> you got me while I was dry. Come on. We want me to come God bless. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Put on me. Pastor Vita's here. Good stuff. Huh? Yeah. Get out of the chamber and beat us here. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> How was it? Huh? How was it? Oh, that's good. How you feel? Oh, it was good. It was, I, I came out. I felt really good. Ooh, oh, nice. You know, the Definitely, I want to describe it. I want to go through it. It is. It, is, it, it does get warm in there. If you want to do it in the air
Okay. Okay. I'll toss it off. Jump in already. <laughs> it's on the swim already. Alright, I have no I do know Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is where the living judge calls you live. Where do? Salama. 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 Amen.
Right there. Yes, down there. Can you help the... <laughs> Thank you. No, 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 no. Let go. Do you like water? <laughs> Physical fitness test that we have to pass. <laughs> Thank you.